Back over to you. Okay, here we go. Pay All right. Attention. I'm attention. making sure your microphone's on. Pay attention. <laughs> I'm trying to help you out. We gotta be able well, to hear about these great books. I'm so loud. People can hear me. <laughs> they they would have heard you too. As my, my mother phone. says, she probably hears me more as well right now. <laughs> Mama, and she's a good TV, right? Not through the TV. <laughs> just because I, I just project. Yes. I'm not at all I'm loud. With you. I'm right there too with now. you. <laughs> all right, you got some great books that uh, I do. You suggested for reading. Yeah, so I've just been reading ferociously this summer, which is kind of just lovely. Yeah. You know, I sit and do that, and I found some just um, really Does it great help books. You keep cool in the you know no. blazing heat no <laughs> no okay no there's no like fan <laughs> there's no like built-in air conditioning in any of these books <laughs> then that would be a really good idea that would be a good idea but no built-in air conditioning i am sorry to report so the first one is <laughs> chose the wrong guy gave him the wrong finger which <laughs> just makes me laugh okay out loud. yes um, that's quite the basically, title basically she it's kind of this interesting story about if you look a little bit deeper this girl who was engaged to a guy, her high school sweetheart, yeah. and found out 10 years later while they're at the altar that he was cheating on her. She left him. Yikes. They come back to the town. The two boys come back because there was something going on with the brother too. Come back. And she literally has to face her life 10 years later because she hasn't moved. Nothing mm. about her has moved forward, which I think is kind of interesting for a chick like, sure. but like Wow, I might be able 10 to relate years to that. later, you yeah. haven't done anything. So the next one is just a phenomenal book. It's actually the favorite of my three that I'm talking about today, The Daring Ladies of Lowell. So it's by Kate Alcott. Most of you probably know her from The Dressmaker, which was a huge phenom mm -hmm. phenomenal book. Um, now this one is talking about women in the Industrial Revolution and how they really became began working in mills to seek financial independence. So mm -hmm. I write about this on my blog, Arden's Book Club, that it's very interesting to me that some of the things these women were facing 200 years ago are the exact same things, like equal pay for equal work. Sure. Still doing All it. So I found that today. really interesting and a great story wrapped up in it. Okay, quickly. Now, this one is the after the party. It takes party. place in the socialite world of Houston in the 1950s. And again, it's women kind of wrestling with their place in society at the time versus what they want and then it also intermingles women friend, female friendships yeah so i liked it i got kind of annoyed with the characters but it was also a really good book so it speaks oh, a lot for the book that sure. i was like angry at the characters the whole time so good stuff all I right have further reviews on arden's book club to go in deeper so good stuff tune in but great books thank you arden you're welcome we'll be back with the final check of the